October the 12th, 2020. Guys, we're finally getting a break on some of this summer weather. I don't know how long it's going to last. Remember, this is October 12th, and we go to November 30th or so for the hurricane season. With 2020 the way it's been, uh, your guess is as good as mine. We'll watch it all. But one of the links that's on our website at bpearthwatch.com, if you scroll over or and go to the website, scroll over to the left and go down, Space weather's been there since we have, and probably much longer. We just have always integrated them into our site. And we're dealing with something that's very neat this time of the year. And many of you in the southeast, at least, and probably a lot of the country has noticed there was a north-northwest wind blowing to the south, and it was trying to clear out a lot of moisture and clouds. And what that does is make it a perfect uh, situation for observing meteor showers now what's happening is everyone's heard of Halley's Comet and um, it as you see these comets come through they will leave debris trails and that's where we get the ordinate meteor shower and I'll show you a picture that uh, came over one of these uh, segments of Halley's Comet which had disintegrated from the original comet came down and broke up over Florida the NASA all-sky cameras recorded the fireball, and it's a sign that the Orinid meteor shower is about to begin. Forecasters expect the shower to peak on October the 20th. Now, that's eight days away. So you're looking at next Sunday, and if this weather continues to clear, it will be unlike a lot of the other meteor showers that we've talked about, it's because so many times here and in your areas, um, there was clouds, or rains, or storms. But with, again, with this clearing fall weather, this may be a very good shower. Now, it's not one of the thickest debris trails that we've been through as far as our planet from ha Comet Halley, but this one could be very neat because of how clear the upper atmosphere is about to get. Now, they're only saying about 20 meteors per hour. But, guys, if you, again, it's, you're looking at the, uh, this is a few hours before dawn, 20 meteors an hour is very, very uh, unique. If you can see that many in this type of clear atmosphere with it cooling, you're going to be in for a treat of your life. We'll look at the sky map. Now, this is tonight's sky map. So if you're looking south, southeast before sunrise, and think about this, the sun is going to rise in the east. And look to the right of that. That would be south if you're in the USA. And just before sunrise, so the glare doesn't block it out, what you're going to see is the center of the meteor shower is going to be to the right side of Gemini between that and Orion. That's where it normally gets its name. To the left, you got Leo, Cancer, and Hydra. Canis Major to the bottom with Sirius, that star just below this area. And what's unique, if many of you guys uh, have been paying attention to the weather today, there has been a very nice breeze blowing out of the northwest, blowing uh, southeast over the Gulf of Mexico, moving pretty fast. And that's going to be clearing the air out. When you get less humidity, then you get clear skies. So it's going to be one of the better opportunities, guys, that we've seen and maybe a year or two to uh, actually catch this meteor shower. Let me show you an image. Now, this is a great model of what we're talking about. Uh, you have a comet that comes around, and uh, as all comets, as they get closer to the Earth, and notice uh, if you look at this debris field here of Halley's Comet, as they get closer to the sun, the speed increases, and then the curvature uh, or the G-force in this ricochet effect starts ripping these comets apart and you can see it here some make it back out into the initial orbit some are pulled up just like an eddy in a stream or a river and pulled back in because of, you've got again mercury venus the earth and mars they are getting pulled back in closer to the sun because of the gravitational pull of these planets and that they're breaking apart and they have less mass to throw them back out into orbit so in, and this is where we pull, let me pull this up a little. 
it's where you get these unexpected asteroids or the ones they never saw before because they were not in this cluster or this debris field. And uh, pull it up, you can see the Milky Way in the background. So pretty real-time uh, model in itself. But guys, the uh, atmosphere, the north wind blowing some of the humidity out may be a very good time to watch this. We're watching it. It's a heads up, guys. It's good to have a break from the uh, Atlantic Ocean. Heads up. Be safe.